Hi guys and welcome back. In this video I want to show you two vulnerabilities found in the application called Dr. Phone from Wondershare. As you can see the application is already installed and running. And this is the version. This is my GitHub page and I will leave it in the description so you can check out the full documentation. So the application comes with three services and all the folders that contain the binaries have weak permission. This weak permission allow any authenticated user to get system privileges. So what does it mean? First, we want to check if the services are installed and running. We can remove display name as we don't need it right now. As you can see, the services start automatically and they run using the local system account. We need to check if we have enough privileges to replace the binaries. This, this and this. In order to do this, we can use this command. Okay. So we can run this command. And as you can see, we have full access. Okay, everyone has full access on every object and every container. We can go here using the Explorer. And we can see the properties and security everyone has full access. I want to show you that I'm not an administrator. As you can see, it asked for an administrator account for this operation. But here I have all privileges. Okay. So if I want to create a file, I, or if I want to remove or rename a file, I can do it. So how to exploit this? We want to replace the binaries. For example, we want to replace this binary, which is this one. Then after the computer uh, will be reboot, we will have access as System. I've already created uh, the X file. I've already downloaded it, maybe. Oh, wait. Let me disable my Windows Defender. Of course, you should um, create your own file, repeatable file. I'm just using this command using um, msf venom. All right. So I have to disable Windows Defender. Okay. Uh, so we can try it again. Oh, wait, we already have it. So. We want to replace the file. We can call it, we want to rename it, sorry. Dot old or dot old. And we can place our new file here. So now we have to reboot and go on Kali. And if we wait, we should get the reverse shell as system. Okay, and here we go. Now, let's go for the second vulnerability. So,
we have to uh, disable Windows Defender again. Because the second vulnerability is a DLL hijacking and I've created the DLL using MSF panel again. You can create your own DLL using maybe C++. And this can prevent first um, the Windows Defender or any anti-malware to Yeah, sorry, um, you can prevent any anti-malware to detect it. Okay. So uh, I will not show you how to find how to find the, the correct DLL. I will just tell you the name of the DLL you have to um, hijack. But here in uh, in the documentation, you can find uh, how to do that. So, uh, as, as, uh, as I already said, I have created my DLL. And I have to place it here. This is the same folder as we, as before. As you can see, there is our old service. Of course, my new service is has been deleted by Windows Defender, but whatever. So we have to copy this here and we have to run the application. If we go here, you, as you can see, we have our reverse shell as the user that run the, the application. All right. Okay, let's go back on Windows. As you can see, the application is not starting correctly. This is because the DLL is not made um, correctly. All right, uh, you should create your own DLL to prevent the application from crashing and to prevent the Windows Defender or any anti-malware to detect it. Of course, it crashes. Okay. If you want a video uh, where I show you how to find the correct DLL to, to hijack, you can write a comment below and I will do it. All right. Well, I hope you liked this video and see you next time.